Hey guys, welcome to Devour Book Reviews. Um, today I have an excerpt Wednesday for you guys. And since it is um, the month of December and um, I've dedicated this month to John Belair's, I'm going to be reading an excerpt from one of his books and one of my favorite books by him. This is The Lamp from the Warlock's Tomb by John Belair's. As you can see, the, t the cover may not look really appealing, but um, this came out in 1988, which is the year I was born, and um, that's what the covers look like. But nowadays, um, they haven't re-released them, like with new covers. I mean, I hope they do, so it'll get more people reading them, because these books are an unknown greatness, and um, it's really awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and start reading you guys an excerpt. Um, this is a scene that is my favorite scene in the whole book. Actually, you know what? It's my first favorite scene, that is second favorite scene. But, um, I just love this whole book. It's just, wow, it's awesome. And, um, he's a great storyteller. Oh, well, as you'll see right now, here we go. Miss Els, what are you so antsy about? Do you think going to see that woman is going to be dangerous? Miss Els looked startled, and then she laughed. You are getting to be a very perceptive young man. If you really want to know, I'm very nervous about this trip. I don't like the way Adele sounded over the phone, and I really can't imagine what she has to tell me. But when we get there, try to act calm, or she'll have a conniption right before our eyes. Let me do the talking, okay? Anthony nodded. When they arrived in dress back, they cruised through the tiny downtown section and then turned off onto a steep side street that led to Miss Grimshaw's antique shop. Over the bare trees rose a cupola of, fancy old, of a fancy old Victorian house. Miss Ells wrote, nosed her car into the parking lot and shut off the motor. When they opened the door, they saw that there was no one in either of the two big, big downstairs rooms. The house was silent, and the strong smell of kerosene hung in the air. Hello, Adele, Miss Ells called when she reached the bottom of the stair main staircase. Are you home? No answer. She's probably in her office in the back, muttered Miss Ells. Come on. Anthony followed Miss Ells down a narrow back hall and pa to a panel door that stood slightly ajar. Peering in, Anthony saw a tiny room that held a roll-top desk littered with bills and old pa other papers. A floor lamp stood nearby, and beyond it was a set of shelves built into the far wall. The shelves held broken mechanical antiques, cast iron banks, clocks, and a couple of music boxes. Pulled up to the desk was a swivel chair, and in it sat something that made Anthony's eyes open wide. At first he thought it was a white plaster statue. A statue dressed in Miss Grimshaw's clothes and fitted with a wig that looked like Miss Grimshaw's hair. The figure was hunched over the desk and gripped the pen in its chalky fingers. As Anthony and Miss Ells watched in frozen horror, the strange shape turned and stared at them, and they saw that the that living human eyes burned in its head. The pale mouth opened, and then the figure dissolved. It fell to pieces right before their eyes and there was nothing left but a sagging empty dress and a whitish powder that ran across the floor and then lay in a whispering drifting heap at their feet. Okay. Okay. That was really awesome. Um, that's my one of my favorite scenes and it's a really creepy scene and I really suggest you guys pick this up. Um, it's again, A Lamp from the Warlocks to the Lamp from the Warlocks Tomb by John Belairs. Um, this is an Anthony Monday mystery. Um, I will put a link at the bottom if you want to buy it or just check it out, you know. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you guys next Wednesday or for another book review or for anything else. Uh -huh. See ya.